Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Breath Edge. And guys, I have been traveling and traveling and traveling. And I got all my suitcases over here. Every single one of them. Every single one. Got our oxygen stuff, plus warmer. Haha. <laughs> we got our... Synthetic category? I don't know. I threw stuff in there. I threw stuff in here. I have a box that is kind of hard to access sometimes with that stuff. And I have metal in here. So, yay us. Um, we're going to do the electrical suit. I need to get two rolls of fabric, two lead paint, four aluminum. Alright, so I believe aluminum... No. Aluminum's in this one down here that's hard to access. Yes? Yes. Four aluminum. Two lead paint. Really, I probably should have put the lead paint over here in this one. We're going to switch it up just, just because. There we go. Now it's more of a synthetic deal with the exception of the fabric. Now, I don't know about the rolls of fabric. I think I need... Four per. Okay, so we're gonna have to. We got to do a little work there. No, I don't want to take you. I'm trying to. Okay, give me another roll of fabric, please. And I think that's all I needed. So I needed the electrical engineer suit, right? Research the electrical engineer. Okay. One minute. What do we do for a minute? Um, I know what I can do for a minute. I can re-equip my hotbar. There we go. And while we're doing that, I can look to see what kind of compartments, modules, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff. A station status screen, huh? Four monitors show the most up-to-date information about the station in real time, namely the amount of oxygen available, whether the electrical appliances are intact, or whether your station will not collapse in the next five minutes. The screen is useful, so it's best not to switch on diaper commercials on it and we need a light bulb a battery and titanium for that you know what i'm gonna do that i am gonna do that right now let's see there's a battery come on get no give me the that one a light bulb and a titanium we are building this guy. We're going to put it right there. Booyah. Put that back. Let's see here. What does it say? Energy, 30. Oxygen, 21. Breach chance, 20%. Okay. Space station is active. All right, well, that's cool. We got a thing. I don't know if we needed that thing, but we got the thing. Uh, yeah, learn the blueprint. You again use database of liner to do some calculations. I see request to protect suit from electricity. It is very dangerous. Okay, create and equip the electrical engineer space suit. So what do I need to make that suit? I need resin. I have everything I need other than resin. Uh, which we put in here. Give me a resin. New suit. Radiation protection plus 75. When working with electricity, it's not enough to wear rubber gloves, especially if you're messing with the liner. Ah, it goes too fast. 
Okay, so we got that. Now, how do I switch? I can just drag you over, yeah? Yes. If you're still researching electricity protection and want to test it on yourself, find a great place with huge lightning. I'm sure it's safe. Go there and try lightning first without the protective suit. Babe, enough of you. Okay, so... Can I just, like, drop this? Oh, that's kind of... Kind of odd, but okay, whatever. Okay, so now we still got to... We got to explore spaceship debris, launch the shuttle, lower radiation. So our standard stuff. All right, cool. Let's see, what do we have? You know what? I don't need... Get back over here. I don't need that lead paint. And... Mm. Yeah, I guess we could keep that stuff on us. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so we need to decide on where we're going to go. Okay, so we have... That looks like an electrical thingy. That's probably why we needed the suit. Um, actually, that kind of looks like a... Well, no, it has a lightning bolt. That kind of looks like a bomb. I kind of want to go over there to the bomb. It's only 500 meters. I'm debating on whether or not I need to use the, uh, the bike. I guess I'm going to use the bike. Just because. If we use the bike, we get over there in like 10 seconds and have a whole bunch of oxygen. And we don't have to worry about stuff. Otherwise, it's one of those, ah, uh, we're out. I will mark it. Looks like some storage for beef fuel pellets. They don't make these nowadays. Oh, yeah? I think we needed these beef fuel pellets, didn't we? No, I hit spacebar. Explosives blueprint, huh? Hey. That's cool. So, where is this beef pellet stuff? Is that what this is? How do I get you? I don't know, but there's resin. Uh, go to number two. We're going to grab that. Uh, we're going to have to come back. Okay, that's fine. A container for transporting beef. Its casing is bloated, which indicates possible damage to its contents due to bad transport conditions. I don't recommend approaching such containers because of their possible explosion. Is it up here? This type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow, not even with electrical tape. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go back. Where are you? Please be careful with artificial beef. This <laughs> product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. A beef grenade, huh? Not sure what I'd do with a beef, beef grenade, but... Uh, yeah, let's go back to the base and... We'll see what we got going there. On the bright side, beef pellets are for that deal we need to uh, launch the shuttle into the core, so that is a mission that we needed to do. So that is cool. Alright, let's see what we got here. Equipment, tools, beef grenade, a handmade explosive device made from a can of synthetic beef, a battery and a simple clockwork mechanism, blah, 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 followed by the dispersion of burning beef mass in all directions. Okay, but you don't tell me what you're for, though. Items, beef pellet, we need synthetic manure. 
Um, I, I don't know about these things. See now, now I'm questioning. Now I'm questioning whether or not I need another, uh, another deal altogether. I'm so confused here. Oh, we need to build a grabber. That's what we need to do. That's what I was gonna look at. Uh, let's see, grabber. We need refined metal, battery wire, and aluminum. Refined metal. Battery. And that is our, literally our last aluminum. So we're going to have to find another source of aluminum here pretty quick. Uh... Oh, and we need a wire. Where did I put... Is it here? No. Down. Down there. One wire. No, I am not building the beef grenade. Stop. Don't ask me again. <laughs> okay, go back to number two. Put you away. Synthetic manure. Is it something I could research, maybe? No, chewing gum. Okay, so it's not anything like that. What's in this one again? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the can of beef in there for, like, safekeeping. You know, I'm going to put my food in there as well. And I'll just drink the water. Um, synthetic manure, please go in there as well. Resin, come back here. Good. So we have one one fuel on us. We have more resin. I'm a little bit better with uh, running around if I know that we at least have a, the ability to make a couple more fuels. Okay, so did it just take it off of my map? I mean, that's cool for knowing where things are, but, uh... I wasn't necessarily done over here. What are you? Nothing there, huh? Okay, so there's nothing really there. Let me grab you. Yeah, let me grab all of this stuff. That's just a metal. There's another one. You know, sometimes it's hard to see this stuff floating around out here. That's four of them. Alright, where did I put my bike? No, that's not my bike. There it is. So many symbols on the screen. Forward! Don't 
slow down. No, you slowed down. Yeah, this is probably gonna hurt a little bit. There we go. Now we're here. Okay. So, can I make... Oh, I don't even know where it is now. Hold on. Items. Beef pellet. Now, I want to know how many beef pellets should I make. Uh... You know what? Let's go ahead and save here. Well, no, that's not where I wanted to put that stuff, is it? Did I put it in here? Yes, I put it in here. Yes. Okay. So I do want to go back to that one thing and try to see the one thing so it will work. Way over here. I don't know how many beef pellets I need, so I'm only going to do one because I guess we can make other things out of that stuff. So I don't want to make a whole bunch of beef pellets and then, you know, not have a reason for it you know I don't want to waste waste my stuff but we're gonna try it with one and if nothing else I can just reload and come back over Okay, let me try this. Fuel tank empty. Where is fuel tank? Right here. Fuel tank empty. Okay, hang on a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. I went ahead and turned all of that stuff into beef pellets. We're going to try this again because the one beef pellet was not enough. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have to have a max tank, a full tank at, you know, 10. And I was only able to make, like, four. So I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it. If nothing else, we'll load up more beef and we'll come back later. Okay, and then we'll come down here. Oh, so that loaded all four beef pellets, huh? Fuel tank empty. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need... We're gonna need all the beefy pellets. Gotcha. Oh, that's probably a bad idea right there. Yeah, I can't see. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, yeah, I have no clue. I was going to come over here and take a look at this thing, but... I think it's just a light. 
Okay, so we got four out of six beef pellets loaded. Yeah, go ahead and clean your vision up a little bit there, dude. Um, oh, there's a... Okay, there's things down here still good. There's a beef pellet. I thought I saw... Okay, so there's still things over here I can get. Uh, unfortunately, one more of that... Well, what do I call that? I call it a beef pellet. The manure, sorry. The manure stuff that I found over there. We're going to need more than one of them, so that's just... That is what it is. Too bad I couldn't transform the cans of beef back into it. I just, I don't know what we're going to need them for. I really don't. Alright, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the area one more time and see. I just want to make sure that we found all of that synthetic beef that we can. So give me a sec, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so it was no go on that one. What I am going to attempt to do, though, is I'm going to go to that other symbol that looks basically the same, but with the little lightning bolt on it. Um, I am bringing an oxygen station and a candle just to see what is over there. But I figured, you know, if we needed the air, we would go that far out because we still have these other things that are pretty far out as well. And if we have room and time, we might just hit all three of them. If there's no oxygen over here, you know, at least I have a station, so we'll see if we can't do all three of these. We might, we might not. And I have another fuel, so if, you know, worst comes to worst, we can do something with that. Okay, so we got a turbine that's spinning over here. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? Yeah, it's probably because of your hints. I will mark it. Um. Yeah, you do that. I guess this is where we needed the uh, the electrical suit. Something exploded here, probably. You think? Exam. Okay. That is just metal stuff. Okay, so that's all that there is there. Where is? There's my bike. Hold on, coffin. Empty. Now where'd my bike go? There it is. Hurry, get on the bike. Such large windows could only be in the five-star modules of the liner. It seems that rich passengers consider a great view to be more important than safety. No, stop moving. All right, well, we're going to fill up our oxygen here. Okay, what do we got here? A 
scan. Yay, I got the big window blueprint that I don't know is actually necessary. Okay, hold on, where is my scrapper? Large partition. Okay. Well, that's good. And I think we got a large oxygen candle, so I can probably use it to refill this guy. Go ahead and drink that water because, you know, we can do things like that while in space. Okay, now we got that and that. I guess let's go to this one. These look like tail sections. There are declared cargo holds inside for transporting synthetic beef, milk, and plant food. There might be something useful here. Okay. Nice. Well, I'm glad I decided to stop then. Is that all that was in here? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, where was where was I just at? I'm just gonna zip over here, fill up, and then turn right back around and go back out. We do have yeah, we still have room. Trying to get that synthetic beef, that's, uh, or not the synthetic beef, the synthetic manure, that's kind of the goal right now, so. Looks like an undamaged cargo section with dairy products. Special containers with cooling gel are used for transporting milk. The gel is ideal for reducing the core's activity. What's left to do is to find the emergency unloading. Stop! Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. Oh, we're so gonna die. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we're saving. We're saving right here. It's strange that this section is protective of weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. The doors are locked. These locks can only be opened with a special oh, tool from outside. Okay. Or, alternatively, they can be broken. You are good at doing that. Okay, so we can't go that way. Is that a cow? Why do I want to grab the cow? Probably they fed synthetic cows with it. You think? Hold on. Turret nearby. But there's cow pieces over here. Gonna risk it. Oh. 
I so do not see this turret that it keeps hollering about. Okay, um... Have I been to this one? No, we haven't. Okay, let me off here. I'm actually going to go ahead and use that oxygen candle now. Quit smacking at things. This is how we get our rocket thingy to go. Attention smuggler. Despite the FDA's requirements of using only synthetic meat products, its composition says natural meat, but doesn't state what kind of, um, kind of meat exactly. It's better not to analyze it. Huh. Uh, yeah, we'll take the dumpling, I guess. You can relax. Despite what the package says, natural meat is not found in its composition. Someone was simply deceived. Okay, where is... No! Use it! There it is. I'm sorry. I had to use it. I don't know where. Oh, I'm so lost here. How many of those things do we got? So that'll be enough for one, two, three, four, five. And I put four. Okay, so we do not have enough yet. Turret active. Be careful. Where is the turret, though? I guess I'll know when it shoots me. A fully functional farm for synthesizing beef. However, the declaration mentions only the transportation of goods. There is no data about any research conducted on the liner unnamed, but it seems that apart from transporting food, they also did some biological experiments in these sections. Bioglue is the basis of a synthetic organism. The composition is too complex for homebrew reproduction. Biologists tried to make synthetic cows adaptable to independent growth and grazing, and therefore jelly-like specimens without any bone structure did not do well. Okay. Yeah, I have no... I am so lost over here. Yep, no, nope, have no clue. I'm just gonna try to jet back to the base. I know I put a thing down, but I just have so many markers on my screen that everything looks the same. They start blending together. Oh, yeah, I was told that I could change that, huh? Uh, we need to look into that. I remember now, I was told that. I was most definitely told that. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna try to remember to do that in the next video so that I can, like, change up some of these markers so that I can figure out what's what. But uh, for right now, that's gonna do it. I do hope everybody has enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, 
all the subscribers and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.